Lubaba TV. Hello, welcome again, and this is Baba TV. And today is another day we proceed with our new topic, which we were talking about business pig farming. And in the first episode, we talk on the breeds that are favorable in keeping pig farming in a business manner. And today I want to talk another thing which will be exciting too and will be knowledgeable to pig farmers. And today I want to talk on the systems that one can use in keeping his or a pig in a business manner. So in today's session you will know how many systems are there in, in keeping pigs but also you will know which kind of system will better suit you but also you will know why this system is very better to use than the other. So I just remind you, if you have not yet subscribed, consider subscribing and hit the bell so as to be updated. And today's session is very beautiful and very good. And as we proceed, we continue to have very, very good sessions. So you, you don't have to miss, you must be there. So consider subscribing and hit the bell so as to be updated whenever we put new videos in our channel there are three systems which are worldwide used in keeping pigs no matter where you are even where you are in tanzania where you are in europe and wherever you must use these three systems so it's your choice to choose between these three systems and the first system is intensive pig farming when you talk about intensive pig farming, we talk about the system in which a pig doesn't been given any chance to go outside. So a pig is just kept inside its heart and being provided with everything from the food, treatment and anything. And this is one of the system which is being used with many people in Africa. And the second system is semi-intensive. And what we, when we talk about this system, it means a pig is given a chance. I mean, a pig is kept inside and given a chance to go outside within a certain area which is prepared. What do I mean saying this? I mean, you are keeping your pig inside, but outside there is a certain area which is prepared where a pig can move there, can pray, can eat and do everything. And this is one of the system which is also used in and is anyway a farmer you can just choose it and use it because it's another good system and it's also widely used. In. And the last system is the extensive system. And this is one of the system which is used with people in rural areas. And when we talk about extensive system, we talk about where a pig is completely given a, given a chance to go outside. We don't recommend this kind of system because it's more risk, even though it's more used in, by peoples or by farmers in many, many, many rural areas. At the, I will find a session where I will talk on the profit and losses, I mean the pro and cons of these systems. And this will give you an opportunity to know each system deeply so as you to be in a good position to choose which is most best system to use according to how you are doing your pig farming. But before you decide to choose what system to use, you must be aware of some few things that might help you to best choose a system which will fit you. First three, you must look on the number of pigs that you need to keep. This will help you get the right picture of what kind of system will best suit you. Because let's take an example, you keep a large number of pigs. 
automatically you won't be able to use extensive pig farming because large pig farming i mean large amount of pig farming need to be monitored and they need to be kept within an area which can be controlled well so this can can help you determine that you might use semi intensive or you might use intensive way of pig farming and another thing which might help you looking you must you look an area of your farm when you have an area for example when you have a big area you might even use a semi intensive farming because it might require some big area but when you look your area and you find that it's in, you have few acres or you know you have a, a small area then intensive pig farming will be a best system for you to use because a intensive doesn't give an opportunity for a pig to go outside so they will be kept within a small piece of area but also even financial capability we might help my might help you how might determine what kind of system that might be suiting you best in pig keeping pigs so all those things must be useful when you use, you look them and when you take consideration of them but i as an agriculture expert i most recommend farmers or pig farmers to use intensive pig farming why people might be asking themselves why is he recommending this this is because in many african areas farmers have very small small farms and by saying that is meaning that to avoid conflicts and losses is better to build a certain good where pig will be kept and being provided with everything this will avoid many conflicts with the society there are people who doesn't use them there are people who may, might clean your farms but also your pigs might disturb a lot of people around you but that that doesn't mean that you should didn't use another system which is semi intensive because we don't recommend automatically we don't recommend extensive pig farming so you must use semi intensive if you have a, an area which is very enough and which has some which is some how far from people's areas or from people's houses this is because when we be close to people we just end up in conflicts which i said before so when you have an area which is big but outside away from people areas you might use some intensive pig farming i would also like to know what kind of system that you are using to keep your pigs and if there is challenges within the system you're using then it's better to share with us or if there, there are some strength that you are getting or benefit when you, which you are getting from the system that you use also it's better to share with us through the comment there down you can comment where you are and what system are you using and the benefits or challenges that you get and in another way we can share knowledge and experience hope you have gotten something and you have understand in your our today's session Till another time when we prepare another session for you. This is Baba Iman and this is Baba TV. Thank you for listening.